Oh, yeah, yeah. Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from the thought leaders like this guy in the digital infra uh, infrastructure space. The gentleman to my right is Mr. Richard Callahan. Richard is the head of solutions engineering at Clean Arc Data Centers. Richard, welcome to JSA TV. Well, thank you for having me. Of course. Uh, and you are a newbie to JSA TV. I am. Yes. I, I, I didn't even know uh, until somebody pointed out to me that, that you guys had this and I watched a couple of the videos. I'm really impressed. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you can, go ahead. Keep talking about it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Richard, how's the show going for you? It's good. I, you know, this is always one of the, the more well attended. Yeah, yeah. And, and this venue is kind of tricky because you have the three floors or four floors to kind mm -hmm. of navigate. Yeah. But so it, it's it, it's harder to bump into people, but it, it's been a lot of fun. And, and <laughs> you know, I, I started my career two blocks away at uh, on 1501 Broadway. So um, let's talk I'm coming let's, back home. Let's talk more about that. So uh, <laughs> at Clean Arc, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about uh, what it is that you do sure. and, and the, the Clean Arc difference? So uh, for Clean Arc, I, I look at myself as kind of the technical liaison between our sales group and our engineering team. So as we start to engage our customers and the discussions move you know, beyond leasing and get a little more technical uh -huh. about how are we going to um, use our infrastructure to support um, our, our equipment, yeah. that's where I kind of bridge that gap of, of being able to say, listen, here's our infrastructure plan. This is what you intend to do. This is how we're going to close the gap mm -hmm. and and answer any of their questions and try to reassure them that you know the solution that Clean Arc provides is, is the best solution for them. I love it, and uh, I would be I wouldn't be shocked to learn that there aren't that there there aren't a lot of people that have that job that sit in the middle there and pro provide that kind of it. But I imagine it's pretty valuable. Yeah, it, it's been it, it was interesting because I come from an engineering background. Yeah. Um, I've been consulting engineering in different form or fashion for yeah. quite a while and, and then moved into a development role um, working with the design teams. But, but thought the engagement with the customer was yeah. a lot more interesting because every customer has their very unique profile. I love it. So you're, you, you, there's a lot more solutions um development it's sure. not just kind of cookie cutter stuff yeah. so that was really interesting to me so you're right um you know there's a lot of different environments out there and i imagine the customers have to you know understand sure how hey i have this you know square yeah. peg how am i going to fit it in somebody your... bridge this for me right yeah right. so that's that's kind of we're trying to ensure you know raise that level of comfort you know that hey we have the, the technology, we have the infrastructure, we have the reliability, yeah. everything that, that you're looking for, we can support for you. So, so let's talk about some of those projects, specifically sure. one in Virginia, VA1, that I believe uh, just came online not that long ago? Well, came online, is, is, I'd love for that to be the truth, <laughs> but um, we have started development. So we uh, we were, were in the permitting process, yes. but we've, we've been able to start land clearing. Uh -huh. Um, we've been fortunate uh, with the location that we uh, there's a lot of the property was already graded and, and kind of in in good condition. Um, we've taken the you know the time to ensure that where we position ourselves is, is strategic to both the Ashburn market and the uh -huh. Richmond, Richmond markets. Yeah. Um, so we've done a, a, a very thoughtful job, I think, of, of choosing that location and. And one of the unique things that we've been trying to do is is integrate with the community a lot more quickly. I was so, on. A, I, I was a sorry. panelist. No, no, that's good. I was <laughs> I was a panelist on a on a uh, uh, a debate session right. about this very thing. I'm very interested. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but no, it's obviously I, you know on the tip of everyone's tongue right now. No, it, it, I think it's really important. I live in Ashburn, and uh -huh. I, I see the coalition of of the Piedmont, whatever the. Yes. Anti data center folks. Yes. Yes. And and they're they've got their act together, right? Yeah. And so they're very active. And thank and, you. Right. And I think they, to a certain extent, having living in Ashburn, you kind of understand their perspective. But I'm able to see kind of both sides of the fence also. So 
it was nice when clean art when i first one of the uh, first things that i got involved in was our community outreach program and so we we met with the, the local community there was a, a lot of engagement um to the extent where you know we've been working with one individual locally kind of our eyes and ears yeah you know, you know in the environment in the community yes and it's it's been very helpful i think as we start to move into that their backyard essentially so, richard the industry is going to need a lot more of you right as we as we move those those facilities kind of to that residential edge right sure. out, outside of that zone uh, from the major metropolitan areas the challenge uh, it's a it's a it's a whole new kind of challenge that you, that you guys uh, apparently are dra addressing in a very humane way, which I love. And I think that was one of the reasons we you know we we're trying to be thoughtful about the location. We're not so far off of I ninety five that now it's, it's going to be this oddity out in the middle of you know yes. the farm country. Yeah. Um, which I think there that happens to be the case for a lot of the competitors. Who, which I, that's right. I have a feeling that's going to be more of a shock to the local system. That's right. That's that's <laughs> so right. We've been trying to be much more thoughtful about that. The other component that sometimes gets lost is we, we do proactively engage a sustainable solution. So we've been trying to kind of close that gap between yes. the renewable power and the consumption of power at our site. So. So we're prepared to turn on 300 megawatts of renewable within the PJM grid to align with the, um, the deployment of the customer over the yeah. next few years. So, And that's a message that the community is going to want to hear. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you know all too often uh, we they could kind of like ram it down uh, the, the throats in the middle of the night to get things rezoned, and then the townspeople are coming at you with the pitchforks. Right, right. And and, and to be honest with you, even if even the property if it's zoned accordingly yeah. and you don't have to do rezoning, mm -hmm. I, I, the, the local folks they don't necessarily understand. You know, know what that's right. Means. That's right. And, and to be it's honest, a mystery. Yeah, and they go online. That's exactly. I see it all the time, Richard. I know exactly I'm where sure you're you going. Do, right, yes. Right. Yeah. So I, there's there's definitely an education sure. gap. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously everybody uses their phone and gets their Netflix, yeah. and and that's the cloud, right? Excuse me. Yeah. So it's not. You know, the cloud is a building. I've been yeah. telling people that for 20 years. Yeah. You yeah. Know, yeah. It's not a. It's not this amorphous space. Right. So it's been interesting. I, I think the folks are they're receptive to it. I think. It, yeah. And, listening to the community and hearing their concerns it, it's a lot of it are unfounded um and, and that's right it, you know that's right yeah but it's just because they just don't know right, right. and that's fine and when and when there's a misinformation machine behind any research that you might yeah right, right exactly exactly but look um nobody leaves jsa without talking about ai and you're no different uh, sure. why don't you talk to us a little bit about uh clean arcs position uh, on ai and, and well, so we fully support it of course of course um and we fully expect that level of deployment in our facility. So what we've done is we've designed a facility that ensures flexibility mm -hmm. because we've heard everything from, oh, well, we'll stand, stay with cloud compute, we'll transition to, to um, AI, we're going to evolve all AI. Mm -hmm. So we have the ability to kind of flex up or down within our facility to support that. So we're... We That's a like, good flex, right? And, <laughs> and, and, I mean, it is, and, and we think we have that that you know that problem solved right mm -hmm. now. The, the trick is, you know, this is where the rubber is going to meet the road for me. Is as that customer shows yeah. up, well, here's what's going to go in there. How are you going to do? Yes. You know, make it work for me. So you're a bit um, of a trailblazer, Richard, and I say that honestly because we <laughs> see uh, uh, this ain't going away. No, it's, yeah. it's not, and and I, I think. You know, we've seen examples of XAI or, or others that are deploying at this volume, mm -hmm. but but it's still so new because yeah. I think just the physical construction just can't keep up with the yes. demand. Yeah. So there's this you know slow ramp just to just to get the physical construction component, and then backfill it with the liquid cooling aspect of it, so and much. that and that's that's really where the fun begins because yeah. I didn't. Personally, you know, nobody has done it at scale for a prolonged amount of time yet, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're all going to figure this out together as we go. I love and, it. And it'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs>